Hey guys, it's Kent back with another reaction video. This is actually a patron request from TD House via Dave Smith. They requested Damanhur, I hope I pronounced that right, 100 Wonders Atlas Obscura. So I don't believe this is actually a music video. I think this is an exploration of a really amazing place. Uh, but I have no idea. So this is just going to be kind of like a huge dive into the unknown. Uh, but I have no problem with that. So let's take a look. 30 miles north of Turin, Italy, buried deep under the foothills of the Alps, enlightenment awaits. Under an unassuming suburban house in northern Italy is a giant series of underground chambers dug by a group of non-architects working around the clock over 15 years. The project was done in total secrecy. It has become known as the eighth wonder of the world. I'm talking about the Temple of Dominor. It was a warm August night when Alberto Araudi and his believers sat in his backyard at the foothills of the Alps. They watched a falling star shoot through the sky and decided now was an auspicious time to begin their project. So with simple chisels and hammers, they began to dig into the rock. It's a massive and intricately decorated underground complex spreading over 300,000 cubic meters connected by hundreds of meters of tunnels and on five different levels. The structure contains a large number of rooms, some with ceilings of over 25 feet tall. One room is a four-sided pyramid covered in mirrors and topped with a glass dome. The ceiling of a room called the Hall of Spheres is covered entirely in gold leaf and the walls and floors are done in intricate murals and mosaics, all done by Oberto's followers. And the project stayed secret for over 15 years. But the jig was up. The Italian police were onto them. Show us these temples or we will dynamite the entire hillside. This is what the Italian police said to Oberto in 1992. And so Oberto dutifully complied and opened the doors to let them in. The entire massive complex has a distinctly 1970s new age kind of feel to it. And it's said to correspond with a journey into oneself. According to Alberto, this all started when he was a child and he had visions which contained a great temple filled with people living in harmonious and idyllic existence together. It was his goal to recreate those dreams and that was what he's attempting to do with the Temple of Dominor. Once the Italian government knew of its existence, they ordered it destroyed. But an outcry from the locals reversed the decision and the government even went on to say, keep building, make it bigger. Oberto has since passed away, but the work continues. There are now tens of thousands of followers all over the world, and the temple is their mecca. Cult or not, one of the fundamental philosophies of Dominor is that individuals are capable of much more than they realize. And certainly, the temple is a testament to what a small group of true believers can accomplish. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. So I'm going to link to the former member's site. It's called Dom and Her Inside Out. It's a fascinating look into the cult aspects of the group. And Vice made an incredible documentary about them. It's long, but if you want a lot more of the tunnels and murals, it's really worth watching. That is so freaking cool. This reminds me of that cave video that I watched before, too, about the guy who just makes caves. That is so unbelievable. It is definitely one of the wonders of the world. I like that Andre the Giant was in there wrestling nerd in me got really happy but uh that's just so neat that is so cool and it shows what people are capable of if they set their minds and their hearts and their souls to it and forget the religious aspect forget cults not a cult crazy not crazy whatever just the art of it and the construction of it and the architecture of it just shows the capability of the human mind of the human spirit of the human creative tendency and i just think that is so cool i think it's so cool that it's still going on to this day and uh now it's on my bucket list of places i would love to see so anyway really enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did make sure to like share subscribe comment down below with your thoughts on this performance then head on over to michigan.com to submit your request upvote requests you would like to see check out facebook patreon paypal you too can become a patron like td house and dave smith and have the videos of your choice seen on the day of your choice. So awesome, awesome, awesome video. I'm so glad I saw it. I've never heard anything about this place before, but now I am super inspired to check it out. Anyway, 
Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next reaction video.